Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So for those of you who are finding me for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want and deserve by supplying them with easy tips and tools to implement into their relationship. So today I am going to talk about the 30 phrases that I have learned being married to a Nigerian man. So if this is your very first time finding my channel and finding this video, I do have two other videos where I talk about the 14 things that I learned when I was dating my now husband, my Nigerian man. And then I talk about the, I think it's seven things that I learned uh, when I was engaged to him. And so now I want to tell you that I am slowly but surely learning the language, uh, which is actually Yoruba. Um, he's Nigerian, but his tribe is Yoruba. And um, I have to say that um, one of my brothers did our ancestry DNA test and I, I actually come from Nigeria uh, and the tribe is Yoruba. Now, as my husband likes to call me, he calls me watered down, which I think is funny. <laughs> and it's mainly because I have never even been on the continent of Africa, let alone to Nigeria. I definitely plan on going, especially I get that question a lot. When are you planning on going? I definitely plan on going to Nigeria and um, his, his actual parents are still in Nigeria. So I did meet his dad before, but not his mom. She didn't come. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the 30 phrases that I have learned. And y'all already know that I have an American accent, so don't come for me. And um, <laughs> as you guys know, my Nigerian speaking uh, Yoruba folk, okay? Y'all already know that Americans can't pronounce y'all letter P and then um, the JB sound sounds uh, weird as well to y'all listening to me. So just take all that into consideration and I'm going to do it right after this. The 30 phrases coming up. All right, fam, thanks for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So let's start with these 30 phrases. What I am going to do is I'm going to say the phrases first, and then I'll come back and tell you non-speaking Yoruba people what I actually said, okay? Eshe, or Oshe, Ekason, Ekaro, Pele, Bawoni, Mabo, Mabo, Wajegba, Joko, Dide, Ita, Ita, Lanue, Ekabo, Ekule, Miba, Malo, Maneo, Odaro, Losun, Mowalke, Ifemi, Baini, Eshegun, Omi, Otiwaini. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Okotansi, Koyemi, Kilofemu, Egbamio, Kiloshele. Okay, so those were the 30, I think I actually did 31, but anywho, <laughs> those were the 30, um, <laughs> Those were the 30 phrases that I know. I know some of them weren't as pristine. However, comma, I am learning the language, as you can see. And I know that there are some more. I just can't remember them. These were the ones that I could think of that I wrote down. So anyway, now I'm going to go back and tell you what I actually said for you non-speaking Yoruba folk. Okay. So, Eshe or Oshe is actually saying thank you. And it really depends on the person that you're talking to. So, Eshe is for um, like your peer and Oshe is for somebody that you respect or an elder. But you're saying thank you both times. Pele, which I know, again, I'm not pronouncing the P word right, but Pele, it actually means sorry. Pele, sorry. Bawoni, that's actually, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. So it's Bawoni. And then my, um, the response is Moa Oke which means I'm doing good, I'm fine, we good, <laughs> right? So it's moa okay. And as you see that you heard an English word in there, yes, okay, that's the English word. And they just, they do just like anybody else who knows multiple languages, they usually mix the language and they, they are no diff they are no different. Um, mabo, mabo means come here, mabo, mabo, mabo. I say that one always to my baby, so I think I actually pronounced that one right. <laughs> Wajigba. <laughs> and I know I didn't pronounce that well right, but anyway, that means I'm going to smack you. So sometimes I say that to my baby too, because she be needing smacked. <laughs> Joko. That's again another command, which means sit down. Again, another thing that I'm learning to say to my baby. Joko. Dide means stand up. Um, we're potty training her right now, so especially like either sit down or stand up. But mainly I say that when I'm potty training her. Or if I'm just telling her, hey, sit down. Ita. 
Ita, ita, ita. Means hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry your butt up. <laughs> Lanue. Lanue uh, means open up your mouth. And again, most of these phrases, now you're going to understand. Most of them, I'm like saying them to my baby. And so she's learning a language like that. And I'm learning the language. And our teacher is my husband. Okay. Ekaro. <laughs> Ekaro means good morning. Good, excuse me. Ekaro. That means good morning. Ekason means good afternoon. Odaro means good night. Ekule. Um, I have to say my husband couldn't really like tr translate this one for me, but he basically told me that this is a greeting that you say when you enter the room after you have been out from like a an errand or you've just been out somewhere and you come back to the house and then you greet the, the other person that's there, usually your spouse. So you say, ekule, wambi bye. That actually means come here, wambi bye. And yes, that's the second one that you heard me say, come here. Mabo and wambi bye is the same thing, come here. Malo means go. Sometimes I hear people say lo, so it's the same thing. Malo, lo, go, go, get on, go, go, go. Maneo, that actually means I'm going to smack you too. Maneo and um, uh, wajegba, that's actually, I'm going to smack you. Lo sum means um, like go to bed or go to sleep. Gone, lo sum. Ifemi means my love. Ifemi, my love. Baini means yes or uh -huh, like I agree with you. Yes, baini. Eche gon means thank you very much. So eche is thank you, or oche, thank you. Eche gun is thank you very much. Odabo, actually I don't think I mentioned this one earlier, but anyway, odabo means goodbye, odabo. Omi means water, omi, water. Otiwaini, that one's my favorite because it means wine. <laughs> Otiwaini, I like some wine, so wine it is. <laughs> Kofi. Uh, that one you can kind of hear means coffee. Coffee, coffee. Okotansi. Okotansi means taxi. Okotax. Okotansi. Taxi. Koyemi means I don't understand. Koyemi, I don't understand. Kilofemu means what do you want to drink? Kilofemu, what do you want to drink? And the last one is Egbamio, which means help. Egbamio, most people, most of the time when I'm watching the Yoruba movies, they're actually screaming this because they need some help. So, Egbamio. <laughs> the final one is Kiloshele, which means what happened. Kiloshele, what happened. So, my fellow Nigerian Yoruba speaking people, how did I actually do? I know y'all can critique me because y'all can't help y'all Y'all so very straightforward and blunt. So I already know I'm going to get some hate on these. But overall, sister thinks that she did pretty good for 30 words that she has never, ever, ever heard until she met her man <laughs> three years ago. Okay? So um, definitely go ahead and leave some comments in the comment section below. If you have not seen my previous two videos, I will absolutely link them. I will put this video in the playlist as well. So if you just look for the play... play so if you just look for the playlist up here at some point or down in the description box below, you will definitely get the chance to see my other two videos. And there is more to come, but you'll see when. Okay? Deuces.